And I'm going to get into my qualifier, yeah. which I don't know if it's a qualifier or a bull prediction. I'll just say, and you guys tell me if it's a bull prediction or a qualifier. Okay. But here is my qualifier. The Inquisitor that we've been seeing, known as Marek, Marek, M-A-R-R-A-K. I actually don't know. I think it's Marek. Um, that- I'm going to... I, for for me to say that this show is good, we know that Hayden Christensen is appearing in some form or whatever. I want Mark to be connected to Vader. He's a clone of... Not a clone or anything of that nature. And how connected and what I mean by this, I want him... So the Inquisitors, right, were trained to a degree by Vader personally, but he kind of half, half-assed it because he just didn't like the Inquisitors or thought they were kind of useless. So the fact that Marek has survived so long and he is the only Inquisitor left at this point means he's, like, pretty good at what he's doing. Like, he's a survivor. So I think what would make the show really cool and really tie in and make sense to bring Hayden back as Vader or as Anakin or whatever is that Marek is trained by Vader and there's basically Anakin's Padawan versus Vader's Kind of like Padawan. Ooh, that's cool. Or do you think they'll bring in uh, what's his name from For what Force Unleashed or whatever? Or the Sam Whitaker? Yeah. So here's a fun thing. If you look at the credits, it says additional it. voices. His he's listed. Yeah. So excuse me. Do you oh, yeah. think that's who Mark is? Is the guy from Vader's thing? It could be. This I could think be that's a whole. A gr- that's an awesome. That's that's both a qualifier <laughs> and, and a, a bold prediction. prediction. Boom, did yeah. it, did both. I dig that a lot. Yeah, but it would be a nice way to, yeah, it would be the Anakin versus Vader story continued years later, and it would kind of tie in nicely. The only reason I would say that this might not work is because as we saw Mar- Marek face off against Ahsoka, and there was never kind of in that fighting sequence a Anakin style or Vader style of fighting. Uh, it was just very kind of like what we've seen with Inquisitors before. So that is like if they were s- dropping the breadcrumbs for that, like that would have been a logical place to put something, but we didn't see anything. Yeah. So that's why I'm like maybe this won't happen. Maybe but. it turns out to be Reva. Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the Inquisitor, uh, by the way, is another reason I thought we were right after Order 66. Mm. I was like, oh, one of the Inquisitors. Inquisitors we're going to see Vader pretty soon. Yeah, there you go. But that's interesting. I didn't know... That he was the last remaining one. Where did you pick that up? Um, somebody had mentioned there was basically a video I saw on YouTube that was kind of just talking the the power levels of the Inquisitors and the fact that there was one still around, mm. which means they got they may have had some extra kind of training or something. Um, Interesting, but yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. that brings a that, lot more depth to that character that I didn't even. It realize. would tie Same. the show Same. in kind of nicely, and you know we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, we'll I was so happens. lost until until I just looked up what you were talking about. I'm like, oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> He's just standing there silently. The Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize he was an Inquisitor. I just Did you not he was see like, his lightsaber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw his lightsaber. I was just like, oh, it's just like a, a dark. Oh, you just thought he was. A, you just thought it was a rando, huh? I thought he was a rando. I a did rando? not know he was an Inquisitor, and that is fascinating. In a mask, rando yeah. in a mask. Uh, so I guess I kind of did a bold prediction. I'm gonna do another one because I can. Are you wait? Are we doing bold predictions now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do come it. on. Shift gears here, Christian. 